Hi, this is the Greek leg of our trip to Greece and back in the spring of 2023. We started the trip by taking the ferry from Portsmouth to Cannes. We drove south through France, through the Fraser's Tunnel, coming out into a very wet and cold northern Italy. But as we drove across northern Italy, the weather soon picked up and we stopped at Lake Isio, Verona and a very busy Venice. Before heading south, along the coast of Fano, where we stayed overnight before we caught the ferry from Ancona to Igumenista in Greece. Is that our ferry? Nah, that's ours. But the Grimaldi line Venezia was comfortable enough. We had a nice cabin. The food wasn't too bad. And thankfully the weather was really nice and we spent most of the daylight hours on deck in the sunshine. There wasn't that much else to do apart from watch MotoGP in Italian on the TV. That's Albania. And that's Corfu. And after just over 21 hours, we arrived at Igumeninsta. After getting off the ferry, we decided that we'd stop at the nearest Axi campsite listed on the sat -nav, which was Camping Kalami. It was a couple of miles down the coast. This was a nice site, good sized pitches, good facilities, nice beach and a very good restaurant. And we stayed here for two nights. After leaving Camping Kalami, we headed south on the motorway. The plan was to get to the other side of Patras, where we would find a campsite somewhere along the coast.
and that campsite was Camping Aganara Beach. Electric point. It's the European two pin. It's been a long day. Uh, we're by a beautiful beach that we're about to go and have a look at. We got chickens running around, believe it or not. The cat's not ours, but uh, seems to have made himself at home. New friend. A new friend. This is another really nice campsite, good facilities, lovely beach, and a beach bar that sold pizza, paninis, and Greek salads. A sue after a pina colada. Ah, I'm fine. And it was beautiful. Do you like getting caught in the rain? I don't know where it goes. <laughs> After leaving camping Aganara Beach, we again headed south. We'd had a look at Wikipedia and Google Maps and had decided our next stop would be Muthoni. Camping Mathoni was nice. The showers were a little bit disappointing, but they were in the process of building some new ones. But location wise, it was perfect, right by the beach. Quite nice here, isn't it? Tomorrow we're going to see a castle. A Venetian castle built in 1200 and something. Yeah, should be a good day tomorrow. Yeah. And uh, the weather is going to be just the same as this 26, 27 degrees. So what do you think? Very nice. Very I? hot. Shame about the castle being closed. And now we popped in here for a light lunch. A light lunch. And a wine. Fruta, fruta. Okay. Our next destination was Coroni. It wasn't far along the coast, a nice looking town with Venetian castle, complete with monastery and an Axi campsite. That is our pitch at Coroni Camping, or Camping Coroni. Very tight, we're up against the tree at the back, and we're right on the edge here. We only had a couple of spaces. I mean, there are loads of spaces empty at the moment, but they've got a big group 
21 bands coming. So uh, they managed to squeeze into this one. We've got about an inch to spare at both ends, haven't we? <laughs> Camping Karani was a very nice site. Good facilities, a pool, bar, a shop, and only a five minute walk to a beach bar and a 10 minute walk into the very nice town of Karani with its Venetian castle looking out over the bay. Beautiful late lunch. Beautiful. Our next stop was Kalamata. This was chosen purely because of the name. I like olives and you can't get much better than a Kalamata olive. We like Camping Fair, it was a nice relaxed site with excellent facilities and a really nice bar and restaurant and only a stone throw away from the beach of Kalamata. Kalamata! Let's go and find an olive. So are you used to 30 degrees now? No. That's a lovely white wine. Uh, oh yeah. Head into the restaurant. I don't. After what you eat all day. After leaving Kalamata, we took the mountainous route to Mistress. The drive and the views were spectacular. The highest point was over four and a half thousand feet. It took a couple of hours and it was well worth it.
arriving at Castle View Bungalows on the right. There's Campy. All set up now. It takes about five minutes. I think I'll put the front screen on there. It's absolutely boiling. Toilets and showers. And a pool. Mistress was founded in the 12th century by the Franks and later became a royal capital of the Byzantine despot John VI. It was later occupied by the Ottoman Empire and for a short period of time by the Venetians. Its end came when the castle and town were overrun by Egyptians in 1823 and the population massacred. Oh, where's the net earth? That's a long way up, isn't it? Oh, long dear. way up. I've got to say, I, I did doubt it was going to make it. We left Mistress and headed north, with the aim of finding a campsite somewhere close to the bridge that crosses the Gulf of Corinth. We drove for about three and a half hours, and then had a look at Google Maps and found Camping to Solly, right on the water's edge. This was another really nice site with excellent facilities and a beach bar, and we would have liked to have stayed another night, but we were still a long way from Ica Minister, where we had to catch the ferry in a couple of days time back to Italy. So looking at the Axial app, we found Camping Valtos in Parga, which was only an hour or so away from the ferry port. we had to cross the Gulf of Corinth again. Rather than use the bridge, we decided to use the ferry. We got a really good view of the bridge and we saved 10 euros.
pictures of Valtos camping. Nice campsite. Some of the pictures are a bit on the tight side. Toilets and showers are spot on. Nice shop by the reception and uh, 200 meters from the seafront. So what do you think of this place then, Sue? Absolutely gorgeous. Very hot again, but... Very... It is hot, 27 degrees. We left Camping Valtos and drove to Igmininster, about an hour's drive north, ready to catch the ferry to Ancona, Italy later that day. We got to Ikebininsta, had a quick shopping trip at Lidl's, then parked the camper outside of the ferry terminal before walking back into town for a glass of wine, sitting on the seafront, gazing out to sea. We only asked for two white wines. Yeah. Fabulous. <laughs> After the ferry terminal, you got to get your ticket. Waiting on a ferry, so are you? This ferry was the Florencia. First stop is reception to get the cabin key. Two comfy beds and a tidy shower. Well, we're four minutes early. 